Hey guys, Katie Cass here with Tat Stories. We've got a particularly exciting episode of Blue Collar Inc. for you guys today. We're going to talk about tattoos and the pain associated with them. Um, like it or not, most tattoos are not going to tickle. They don't feel great. Um, and we have a super exciting guest today, friend of the channel. Miss Italia is here with us today. Italia, thanks for joining us. Hi, everybody. Um, Italia is no stranger to pain. She is tatted up and down. You got some really <laughs> cool pieces on you, by the way. I do, I do. Um, so we're going to chat a little bit about components of dealing with tattoo pain, what should you be considering, how can you cope with that, things like that. Um, so to kick it off, a couple things to think about when if you're going to get a tattoo, one of the biggest factors around how much it could hurt is going to be where you get it. Um, there are various areas of the body, as I'm sure you know, I tell you, that um, are more sensitive than others. Yes, ma'am. And I wanted to ask you, is there a tattoo that you have that you can recall that is like by far the most painful? Like oh, what yeah. was what was your like worst one? I think anything in the torso next to your rib cage or tickle spot areas, mm -hmm. is, that's that's the most I think and that was my first one. <laughs> go big or go home, right? Yeah. Yeah. And like that lower back, you know, where somebody grabs you to make you go, ah. Yep. Yep. But then that's where I chose ink. So not good for my first artist, but I've learned, <laughs> I've learned from the, from uh, that experience kind of placement in my own personal pain threshold. Yeah. That. And I think too, like with women, especially like I think there's a lot of really pretty feminine placement you can do on the rib cage and around the like That's a female the most torso. Part. Right, the irony is like this is where it's going to look the coolest, but like I'm also going to go through a lot of pain. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. And I, I similar my first tattoo when I was of age asterisk um, was on my ribs too, with all up and down my ribs and. Something to consider is when you're getting a tattoo is, you know, where is there like a really high concentration of nerve endings? Yeah. Where is a part of your body that you might be bending and moving a lot? Because that's going to cause, I think, a little more pain, not necessarily when you're getting the tattoo. The healing process. Exactly. Because your skin bends. Exactly. Or like if you get a tattoo on your shoulder or your arm, you probably can't sleep on that side for a little bit. Yeah. Did you feel, I'm curious to ask you this, did you feel like after you get like one of your tattoos, to me... Getting it feels like a sunburn, kind of like it's a little hot to the touch yeah, right after. Sometimes it feels good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, hey, it's a vibration, people. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, take that with a grain of salt. But um, on top of that, like the days after, it felt like a bruise to me almost. Like there's a little bit of tenderness associated with it um, when you're healing. Did you have any of that happen to you at all? Um, there's a tattoo on me that's healing right now that I got about uh -huh. a week ago. And it happens to be right in the hip area, which yep. getting it didn't really hurt that much. But I'm, I'm realizing the the healing process is hurting more because my that's where my leg bends yep you know and so that um it's just not healing as quickly because it's my skin crinkles you yep. know and, and it's having to do a little bit more you know um aquaphor or, or things like that to keep yeah. the skin soft um so yeah I think placement definitely because the, the ones on the shoulder it's fine I just slept on the other side yep so yeah, super important to like how you're healing and how you're, you know, you probably can't get a tattoo like that big, like you have on your thigh and then immediately go jump in a pool or go work no. out. Like there's a lot of factors to consider there. Absolutely. Um, and then another thing too, I think for those who are in the tat stories community who maybe don't have a tattoo yet, but are interested in one, keeping in mind that the tattoo machine itself, it's a needle that's very rapidly piercing your mesoderm <laughs> and, and, you know, depositing the ink underneath your skin. So there's going to be like a natural bit of pain with that, I think, as well. Yeah. Um, and I, I think I've just heard from a lot of my artists and even myself, the different tattoos I have on my body, there's a wide variety of pain thresholds out there. I have heard that females can tolerate pain with tattoos a little better than men, but I'm not going to say, you know, that's set in stone. Um, did you feel like the different tattoos you got, like, did you feel like you had a, di a higher threshold for one or the other? Um, besides the very obvious placement, my tattoos have more recently been in those juicy, meaty areas yeah. that kind of feel good to get inked. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, I know myself, two and a half hours is about my comfort zone. That's Anything good to know. Anything more than two and a half hours, I'm like really having to dig deep into that, like, yep. oh, breath, <laughs> you know, like the closer it gets to three hours, the more like, I just can't. Anything after three hours, it's just, it's too much for me. And also my skin isn't reacting well and you're starting to tear your dermis. Yep. You know, because that's, how, that's my personal level so anything under two and a half hours I'm fine that's when a great point yeah oh sorry yeah. to cut no you that, off but that. that's it that's it you know closer to three I tap out I, I think my biggest piece was about nine and a half hours obviously not consecutive because for me yeah three hours yeah 
that's it. And then every every other session was about two, two and a half hours. Yeah. Took a while to get done, but hey, commitment Absolutely. and pain management. So. And for those who are following too, if you don't have a tattoo, Italia brings up a great point, which is um, if you've never gotten inked before, you're probably not going to know what your threshold is or what your, wh- how, what your time and pain tolerance is going to be. That's a great conversation to have with your artist before you even sit on the table and start the process yep. is what is their willingness to take breaks for you? Um, if you're getting tattooed in a place that like your torso or somewhere where you, you really can't move a lot because you'll shift your skin, how can you tell them? Like, is it verbal? Do you tap them or say that, hey, I need a break? and yeah. like stop for a sec sometimes you need to if you had this happen where when you get tatted your body's natural reaction can sometimes be to tense up because it's right. pain and so holding your muscles tense for hours you're actually like physically tired you're after i feel like tired. i did a workout after i got my side yes yeah. done no absolutely and then you've got that endorphin crash absolutely because you know you've got all those endorphins going um and then afterwards even several hours later like you might be in bed by seven exactly your your body's done but I want to say something about timing and communicating that to your artist because there may be pieces that they want to get done first before they go to another piece especially if you're working with somebody who's not just a tattooer but who's actually tattoo artist very true hey maybe I want to get this color done so we're going to do this today Mm -hmm. maybe I want this piece done in in the context of the grander scheme of that piece of art that you're getting on you and they want to get that done first mm-hmm. and you're like okay well I've, I only have two and a half hours to work with what would you artists like to get done first that's a great point um so t- just a banter and a back and forth yeah and then on that note too similarly is really considering like what's the design of the tattoo you want and where do you have a lot of really dark bolded lines where do you have a lot of shading and where do you have yeah. a lot of color particularly lighter colors like your yellows and your oranges because oftentimes what will happen is if you have an artist who knows what they're doing and they're outlining your tattoo really deep and really like crisply the first time more, more than likely they'll do the outline and then they don't have to touch the outline again right but they're doing a lighter outline or really fine lines, they might have to go over them more than once. Shading, I don't know if you've had this happen to you. So the outline goes on, you're like, ow, 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 that hurts. And then the shading shading comes and they go back and forth over it. I know, and you're like, just let go of my skin in that poor spot. Um, And And that's that's when I tap out, mm -hmm. heal, come back three, four weeks later. Exactly, that's a good point. And like really considering, you know, if you want a tattoo that has a lot of dark, like heavy shading, or like, like I said, yellow and oranges, in order to get that color to stick, the artist sometimes has to go over it multiple times. That can be particularly painful, not only because it's doing it like for a longer period of time, Mm -hmm. but it's going over skin that you just tattooed to shade it darker. It's already inflamed. Yeah. And so you might be, you know, white knuckling your table a little bit (laughs) when you're getting that done. As one does. Um, And then lastly, we want to talk about coping mechanisms. So Mm -hmm. you mentioned a little bit, like you are very clear with your artists about, you know, your, your time threshold. Is there anything else that you do in particular to like kind of get yourself through the process? Um, I'll say that I'll tell you that afterwards, um, I've heard, you know, whatever you can give your body to produce all the endorphins it's going to need to produce to Mm -hmm. get you through that pain. So protein and sugars and lots of, um, water, obviously hydration, protein and sugars, because those are the chemicals that your body uses to create those endorphins, those things that get released when it hurts, right? That's why sometimes tattooing feels so good. (laughs) Um, But at some point your body runs out of those things because it's metabolized them. So you got to give them to your body again. So Mm -hmm. sugar, protein, and lots of hydration. That's a great point too. Yeah. Rest, I would say like food, rest, water is also a great point you bring up because people sometimes think that, well, I'm just sitting there. Like I'm not actually exerting myself. So why would I need to be hydrated or like eat a full meal before? But that all goes into like preventing yourself from crashing and being overly tired is like really like have a meal, especially if you're going to sit for a few hours, have a good meal, like keep water by you. A couple of other ones that um, Tat Stories wants to share with the community too that you can consider is you can do music immersion. So people can put headphones in, you know, listen to your favorite podcast or music. I think that's really a helpful distraction a lot of times, mm-hmm. especially if the pain you're experiencing is like rhythmic, which tattoos yeah. can be. So yes, it hurts, but it's kind of like a rhythmic sort of vibration. So you can kind of like zone out of that and just kind of like focus in on the music music. I've had artists um, who have TVs in the studio and they'll put on a movie and I get to watch a movie of my choice. Kind of like you're at the tentis when you're a kid (laughs) and you put on a movie. And then the last one too, and I'll I'll ask if you have experience with this is if you're allowed to at the studio is social interaction. Mm -hmm. So a lot of artists and at least in my experience are 
like more than willing to talk to you during the process. They'll ask you about your day, what you do for a living. Yeah. Um, and a, a lot of times, as long as it's compliant with the, the studio's policies, you can bring a friend or bring someone else to come with you. That person can also talk to you as well. Um, you can start having those conversations just to kind of take your mind off what's happening. Mm -hmm. Have you ever like brought a friend or listened to music? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It, it's And then you can laugh about it. Yep. And then, you know, as long as you're not moving too much, as exactly. long as you're not moving and your artist is okay with it, then yeah, company is always good totally. just to, have to uh laugh about it and get your you know your mind off of things. exactly I feel like you become an expert in multitasking where you're like yeah. going to reach for your bottle of water or you're going to laugh like laughing is another one where like my artist will say something funny and I have to laugh very carefully because I don't want to like move my rib cage while right tattooing. it depends on where your placement is but yeah a little comedic relief is always a good thing. Exactly. And then in terms of afterwards, too, I think you brought this up already, Italia, which was a great point, is you want to make sure that you get rest afterwards. You will likely be more tired than you think, especially yeah. if your tattoo is more than a couple hours long. Um, and then the other piece to that is making sure that when you are resting, you're not sleeping on your tattoo. You're not doing anything that's going to, like uh, – like smudge your tattoo or like um, risk the integrity of like the quality of the skin. Keeping in mind too, like once you get the tattoo, it looks all fresh and clean at first, but that skin starts to shed and you want to make sure you're not sleeping on that area or like helping that skin shed too quickly because it can actually take parts of the ink off. I don't know if you've ever had that problem before. Thankfully, but. no, but yeah. I've had friends who, who definitely their, their color has come off Yep. for just not being very respectful of their aftercare. Yeah. You Absolutely. Know, you have, this is art on your body. You mm -hmm. respect it. And your body is like a living canvas. So to that point, aftercare is super important. You want to make sure you listen to your artist. So if they tell you Aquaphor this many times a day for this many days and then switch to something else, it would very much behoove you to like listen. And that you might see too that artists have different recommendations for aftercare, but they're all based in the same idea that you need to give that skin time to heal mm -hmm. and make sure that if you have any burning sensation or tenderness afterwards, that you're doing your best to kind of work around that so that the skin can heal and your tattoo can look as good as possible. And I will say lastly, I mean, uh, if anything does happen, talk to your artist. Absolutely. I had something happen where my second skin came off and I was traveling and I had some like bubbly parts and yeah. I freaked out. Ah, I called my artist. He talked me off the ledge. He was like, no, this is just your body healing because you know, your that particular portion of your skin didn't have the second skin on it. So, yep. so all of the inflammation is coming out of one part of your piece, you Absolutely. know, so that it wasn't anything wrong, but it did scare me, but I was able to go back to my artist Talk me off the ledge and walk me right <laughs> through it. And my piece looks great. Great point. And then last point, too, that we'll just bring up is in terms of aftercare, especially as it relates to pain with tattoos, is if for any reason you're starting to feel a sensation that you shouldn't. So like shooting pains or something that's anything more than general tenderness. Um, you might have some light bleeding, too, depending on how sensitive your skin is. But anything beyond that, anything that doesn't look or feel right, definitely call your artist if needed. You know, definitely make sure you have some sort of clinician that you can call if you have any questions. It's important to make sure that your tattoos look good, but it's even more important that your tattoos are healing safely. All right. So in conclusion, on the note of tattoo and the pain associated with tattoos, a um, couple things to think about. It's not always a painless procedure, as you guys are probably aware. So you really want to take into consideration what are your options when you're getting your tattoo. Um, if, you know, music, having a friend, or even bringing something that you can grip onto when you're getting that tattoo is helpful for you. Absolutely a conversation worth having with your artist. Even when you're designing the tattoo itself, keeping in mind that there are areas of your body that will likely be more sensitive than others. You may also just have a naturally lower pain tolerance than other people. Those are all things that any good artist should already bring up with you. But if they don't, ask questions. Make sure you understand, you know, really what you're stepping into when you're getting this procedure done. And then absolutely make sure that you're taking care of your tattoo as instructed um, for the amount of time that your artist it tells you to. If anything, you know, sensation-wise, pain-wise comes up that you're not familiar with or that doesn't seem right, always call your artist, always ask questions. Um, and I want to thank our friend Italia for coming on Blue Collar Inc. Italia, thank you so much for taking you're the time welcome. and sharing your experience here. You know what? It was so much fun. Anytime you want to talk about tattoos, hit me up because I'll probably have another one by then. I love it. We'll yeah. probably be chatting soon. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> thank you guys Bye. so much. Katie Kaz with Blue Collar Inc. Drop a comment or question below if you want to learn more, if you want to ask more questions of Italia, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs>